Clearly, you have the best hair on the team, Fred. So <laughs> let's start right there. I think we've there. gone over this before, haven't yes. we? Yes. How tall is it now, though? It's not very tall. I, I pick it out before practice, so it's not as tall as it might seem. Okay. But you know, it's just it's just a regular height right now. Keep it tall, not out or long. You know, not down. It's just just keep it high. It's That's regular it. height. Yes. <laughs> Will it fit into the helmet? Look, I have a smaller helmet too, and it still fits. So it's 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 squishy. Okay. It fits. This is important. This is important <laughs> preseason kind of stuff. We're already getting to the important. Hey, <laughs> you're playing Arizona next week. What what's that like emotionally right now for you guys and the the whole team? I you know I feel like everything's just flown by in fall camp. I, I think it's just here. Everybody's ready. Everybody looks great. You know, after today, I feel way more confident when in. And you know the whole team and the offense looked great, and so I, I feel like everybody's excited. Wait, but how about the defense? Defense has always looked good, so you know, I don't <laughs> that's, know that's never defense. been a concern. <laughs> that's never been a concern for me. You know, I mean, defense always looks good. That's you know, I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Was there so. anything specifically that happened today? And I know you mentioned the offense right. that, that made you think, "Whoa, okay, we're in good hands." Yeah, just I think uh, you know, Coach Kalani is putting on this this game atmosphere type look. Um, and then me looking out there and seeing the guys we have on the field, you know, it's, it's going to give you confidence. And it gave me confidence today, so it just, it just looked good. How are you feeling uh, physically? And then how is your uh, knowledge of the playbook? I feel great physically. You know, I feel like this is the best I've ever felt. Um, you know, obviously coming off that year where I had to come back from an injury, I feel healthy. I haven't really had any issues during, um, during camp. But, um, yeah, I, f I feel like I – Awesome. And then knowledge of the playbook. Oh, knowledge of the playbook. Oh, uh, so I think the coach has done a good job of trying to keep it um, simple for us and, you know, trying to mimic as much of the concepts to what we had before, even though we switched our defense around. Um, I feel very confident in the, in the playbook so far. How has your role changed now that you're playing in a 4-3? Um, I feel like the biggest change probably is just the amount of coverage I do. Um, I'm, you know, I'm pretty comfortable in coverage as a linebacker, and so they, they take use of that. Um, but they're just always trying to put me in a situation to, you know, be successful. Your brother could see a lot of playing time this year, freshman Troy, uh, at cornerback. Do the Warner brothers have, like, a pregame ritual? Is there some celebration if one of you gets a pick or sack? Um, I don't know. We haven't really come up with anything yet. I think that will come with, with a game under our belt, you know, and maybe, maybe then we'll have some. But, uh, yeah, he's looked great, and it looks like he's going to have, a, you know, a great season, have a lot of, of playing time from the get-go. Growing up, how much did you play play with each other? Because it's what a two-year age difference, year and a half age difference. Yeah. We uh, Pop Warner. I don't think we really played much. You know, when we were little, high school we played a year. So I mean, this is the most I think we'll have. You know, of uh, us playing together. What do you know about Arizona and that offense right now? Uh, Arizona, there's very fast-paced offense. Uh, you know, they have a lot of fast players. They play physical. Wait, um, have you defended a fast-paced offense before, Fred? You know what? <laughs> I, th I think I might have. <laughs> you know, it sounds familiar. You're right. But, uh, you know, they're they're very fast. I, they, our, our BYU offense, pa you know, in the past couple of years, they kind of slowed it down. I mean, we could have we could have even huddled last year, you know, just because of how slowed down we went. Um, but, yeah, Arizona is very fast-paced. Um, I think we're prepared. We've been conditioning every day during the week after practice just to, just to prepare for that. Is it ones versus ones or ones versus two? So are you going up against both Taysom Hill and Tanner Mangum defensively? Uh, today we went ones against the twos or ones against the threes, depending on if you were on offense or defense. So I didn't get to see Taysom, but I think Tanner was with the twos a couple times. Uh, so I saw him once, but he's the only quarterback and I think I haven't gotten an interception on yet. So that says something. Yeah, I mean, I it does say something. It is something when your backup quarterback is the national freshman <laughs> of the year. So how is it defending Tanner as the number two quarterback? It's different. Um, I think that's just that's just what we have to list him as. I, I don't consider him a number two quarterback at all. You know, I feel like he's – I feel like we have two ones and one just goes in before the other. You know, it's just um, – it's just comfortable. You're, you're just comfortable with, with who we have right now. So that's how I feel. In a 4-3, uh, will you have more opportunities to make plays a certain way, or, or does your role change in that, okay, I'm going to be tackling more, or I'm going to have a chance for more sacks or more picks? Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to be all over the field. I feel like there's going to be a chance for me to make a lot of tackles, and there's going to be a chance for me to make you know, a lot of different plays. Like, you know, obviously, you, there's no wrong way to get a sack or anything. If you're just in the, if you're in the situation, it's there. But, um, yeah, I just want to be able to make a lot of plays. Obviously, you're one of the leaders at the linebacker position. Harvey Longy was penciled in before the season began as, you know, a veteran coming back at linebacker. Now that he's moved up, who are some of the guys that are going to step up and play a bigger role along with you at linebacker? I think with just the three guys we have right now, including myself with Butch, Pau, he's come in and just been 
you know, outstanding for us. He uh, is acting like he's a veteran, just how physical he plays and, you know, his knowledge of the game. And same with Francis. Francis is just a natural at that position. He's one of the best athletes we have on the team, and he's perform performed well. It's just making sure we're all, um, I think, just linking, linking together and just creating that fluidity and, you know, just going off from there. Who are some of the backups behind those three? Uh, so the guys behind me are, I think, Morgan Unga and, and Grant Jones behind Butch. We have uh, Phil Bamone, Austin Heater, who's played in the game, who played in games. Um, we have Kavika Fanua and uh, Kuje Tapasola and at the bow position. So we have depth. I don't think I don't think that's a, a concern. Have you uh, have you envisioned next Saturday running out onto that field to start the new era of BYU football with Clint Stuck? Uh, I, haven't, I haven't really envisioned it yet. Uh, I try and just take it one day at a time. Just to, I'm trying to focus on just bettering myself. Just today, I'm out on the practice field, or tomorrow, or tomorrow, whatever I have to do to get better for that game. So when that game comes, I'm, I'm my best. Such a boring answer. I've envisioned it, Fred, <laughs> um, and I was much taller and much stronger, and it was an amazing moment. It, it will be. You, you went on the field, or was it me? I envisioned running out onto. Yeah, yeah, as a player, and it was amazing. I was a lot stronger. Yeah, see, guys who don't go on the field, they're the ones envisioning it. You feel me? Like, that's why you had to do it, not me. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm and just I kidding. had a pick You're six, right and it was awesome. Okay. I you had don't have to kid. Yeah, see, yeah. You go at Walk him. on trials for Monday. Listen, all right, see, that's why I've, I've envisioned the pick sixes and all that, too, but I'm glad you have, too. Yeah. You see, had a pick six, Fred. You did that. You've done it. I'm not. I'm talking about at Arizona, though. Oh, okay. you got to envision it at the team that you're playing on that week. Okay. You can just, yeah. you know. Fair enough. Yeah, I, we don't have to take it one game at a time. You do. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I, I have to take it one game at a time. You guys are thinking about other teams. <laughs> UCLA and Utah. Yeah. Michigan State. <laughs> Let's focus on Arizona, right? That's exactly right. Okay, we will do that. Uh, we'll wrap up with this. <laughs> as, your, as your buddies thanks, are now thanks yelling. Thanks, Akile Davis. <laughs> 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 What's the biggest difference you've noticed now that you've come through the majority of fall camp? under this staff like is there one thing that you're like man it's just so different because of this um i'm not sure if i could just put a finger on it but like it's very different is it I, i'm not sure what is so different about it i guess it's just the way their coaching style is a lot different from the last coaching staff i think the last coaching staff just was a lot more disciplinary uh fashion this 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 coach staff's more about just trying to be as positive as possible i guess um Keeping everybody healthy is a, is a big is a big thing. You know, if there's a guy with bumps and bruises, they want to make sure they keep keep that guy healthy. Um, but yeah, I think I can't really put a finger on it. But yeah, there for sure is a difference. He wears number four, and he's got the best hair on the BYU football team. Fred Warner, thanks for the time, Fred. Yeah, no problem.